Welcome back everybody and in today's video I want to go over how to fix your damn NVIDIA Shield TV remote. If this thing is not working, I'm going to be showing you today how you can get it back paired and how you can get it working 100% today. This is going to be a pretty quick tutorial video guys so hit that subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we're gonna go through a few different ways to fix your Shield remote. Now this first part of the video is only gonna work if you can actually still use your remote, but you're experiencing problems with it. If you continue on and watch the rest of the video, you're gonna see at the end some methods if your remote is not working at all. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is scroll over to settings in the top right. That is the gear. Now this is a setting nobody ever goes into and that's remote and accessories. Now the handy thing about this is we can actually go to shield accessories in the top right. And then from there, we can check out our shield remote. Now this is gonna tell us the battery level. As you can see, our batteries are good. And that kind of saves us a bit of a step later on. So you're able to check and see your batteries are good for a long time. Now there's some other settings you can actually play around in here, but we're gonna just ignore them for now. Now, one thing everybody forgets to do is update their firmware for their remote. So there's actually firmware that NVIDIA sends out for their remotes. So I suggest making sure that your firmware is updated. So once we do this firmware update, we're gonna do it right now. We'll press continue. It's going to update your remote to the newest version. Okay, so our remote is fully updated. Now, if your remote is still giving you issues, the next thing I suggest doing is forgetting your accessory and we will repair it with the device. So we're gonna press forget accessory, okay. And now you're gonna see my remote no longer works. So the way to solve that is to, it actually auto pairs when we click around. So as you can see, it auto connected, but there is other ways to pair it. So either way, our shield remote auto connected. So that kind of solves that issue. So if you need to connect, another way to pair it is from what I've heard, just holding down the select button. So this middle button, um, I haven't had a chance to try that because it always auto pairs, but if you buy a new remote, that's how you're gonna set it up and pair it. Okay, so now that we're done with those steps, we're gonna do some physical stuff on the remote in order to try to get it to work, and these are button combinations. So what we're gonna do is remove the back. Depending on the model you have, you may have to hold down a little button there in order to get the back removed, um, but for mine, I can just slide it off. Now we're gonna remove both batteries. You actually have to remove one, but I suggest removing both because I just find, you know, sometimes when you remove your batteries and put them back in after five minutes, it tends to work really well. Now we're gonna leave this for 30 seconds before we put our batteries back in. Okay, so now that it's been 30 seconds, we're only gonna put one battery back in. Now the button combination we have to hold down is this center D button right here and the home button at the same time. So you're gonna to wanna to hold and hold, it's kind of, really awkward positioning, but you wanna make sure those are fully held down. Now, while we're holding those down and you wanna keep holding them, we're gonna slide in our other battery and we're gonna keep holding them until we hear that audible beep. Now that means your, your Nvidia Shield TV remote has reset and this really does solve most issues. So now that it's reset, we can pop our back back on. You can test it out and you can see we're able to move along through our shield. So those are the methods to getting your NVIDIA Shield TV remote working. Now let's go over just one other thing you can do if your remote is still not working at all. All right, so let's say none of those steps work. This is really the last thing you can do. You have to purchase a new remote. Yes, you have to purchase a new remote, but you have to be careful because there are fake knockoffs like this one right here, which look very similar to the Nvidia Shield TV remote, but you wanna buy the official remote and it's actually not as bad as you'd think it is. They go for $30 uh, US, okay, $30 US, a little bit more Canadian or wherever a country you're in, $30 US, it's very reasonable for such a high quality remote. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this video here where I show you the best settings for your NVIDIA Shield. I'll see you in the next one.